Good afternoon. Uh, just to give you a short explanation of what we're doing, I'll read to you from an article in the Vatican News by Christopher Wells uh, reporting on what Pope Francis said this past Sunday uh, when he gave the Angelus blessing. Pope Francis on Sunday called for all Christians to respond to the coronavirus pandemic, quote, with the universality of prayer, of compassion, of tenderness, adding, let us remain united. Let us make our closeness felt toward those persons who are the most lonely and tired, end quote. Speaking after the, the traditional recitation of the Angelus, the Holy Father called on all Christians to join together in prayer. He said, In these trying days, while humanity trembles due to the threat of pandemic, I would like to propose to all Christians that together we, we lift our voices towards heaven. On Wednesday, March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation, he has invited the heads of the churches and the leaders of every Christian community, together with all Christians of the various confessions, to invoke the Almighty and Omnipotent God to recite at the same time the prayer that Jesus our Lord taught us, the Our Father. On that day, on which many Christians recall the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, of the Incarnation of the Word, Pope Francis prays that, that the, Lord may, the Lord will listen to the united prayer of all his disciples who are preparing themselves to celebrate the victory of the risen Christ. And so I invite you, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, our refuge in trials, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow, look with compassion on our affliction, and so lighten our burden and confirm our faith, that we may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this prayer, asking for God's blessings. God bless you.